And I had a client out of Sun Valley call us up and say, hey, we need your help. We have a very large project, it's 9,000 square feet. It's due in two weeks. Can you do it? Yes, we can. And here's how we're gonna do it. We knew that we could make that deliverable by everybody working in the model at the same time by using ARCHICAD, and we did it. And so word got out, and we had people in California that found out we are doing this, and there was a big demand. I had no idea how much demand there was for a structural engineer to work in the ARCHICAD. And then there was a webinar where they were showing how the engineers and architects could actually work in the same virtual model. I said, that's what I want to do. I want to, I want to do that. What do I have to do to do that? That's when the growth really started happening. Architects are very passionate. It's really hard for them to let go and to relinquish ownership of certain elements in the model. It's a very intimate relationship because in order for the technology and collaboration to work, we have to be in there. We have to be in the model, moving stuff, touching stuff. So there's a huge protocol at the beginning where you gotta establish who's doing what, who owns what, you gotta talk, you gotta communicate. Once we figured out what that is and we have a kickoff meeting at the beginning of a project, it's pretty smooth. We're able to work in the same model. We have credentials to get in there and do what we need to do. We're sizing the beams, we know where they go, we're creating the details from it. We're able to communicate through the model. Our elements are their elements because it's in the same area, it's in the same zone. So when they take a cut of the building, the beam that they're seeing is the beam that we put in. If we move the beam, their they're cut automatically updates. And when changes happen, it's more obvious to us, so we're able to pick them up quicker. Something would normally take two or three days of communication of emails and phone calls and back and forth. You just resolved it right off the bat. You don't have to be in the same city to work on the same project. We have clients in Southern California, Northern California, Seattle, Jackson Hole. We do work in the Virgin Islands, Hawaii. Because of the technology, we're able to work through the cloud, if you will, and produce more in less time. So you're very focused. The architect starts thinking about, what about this? Which gives us an idea. I'm like, hey, move that, shift that over to the left, and what if we connect it this way? You're in it, and you can take care of it at the moment. Send and receive, live 3D, you get instant feedback, and then you can move on. Everything's getting faster. Our project delivery time is accelerating. And we've had to do projects in half the time we've done them typically. You know, in the 2D world, you just can't produce it as fast. ARCHICAD is one of the smoother, more efficient ways of getting to the end result. But you have to be willing to learn something new. You've got to be willing to adopt a new process. There's still apprehension to fully go to that next level. But in my opinion, to make the true workflow happen, the architect, the engineer, the contractor, everybody has to get in and put in the data. You know, sharing that passion of trying to create something that is better than everybody else.